Hi there. Do you like my painting? It's of a fantastic tiger. So we're doing a tiger portrait today. This painting is done in uh, acrylic paints, which is one of the more forgiving mediums. And it's probably uh, an intermediate lesson, but don't get intimidated by this tiger. I'm gonna step you through every part of the process so you at home can have a crack and we'd love to see your attempt at this lesson. So here's, here's an idea of the kind of materials that you're going to need. And um, if you're into art lessons, don't forget, come over to montmart.net and check out all of Joe and myself's lessons. We've got a lot of really great lessons for you to try. And we'd love to have you over on Facebook. And we've also got a sensational e-zine called Montmart Connect. So join the, the uh, Creative Connection and you can get involved. So let's get stuck into how to create a tiger portrait. The grid method is a simple and easy way for you to blow up your artwork. It's as simple as drawing a grid on your artwork and then drawing a much larger grid on the canvas you'd like to draw your artwork onto and then transferring what you see. Now that you've got your sketch down onto the canvas using the grid system, it's time to black out or, or block in all of the line work so you don't lose it when we do our underpainting. Here I've got some Payne's Grey and I've also got a Taclon brush and two round brushes and that'll help me to block in all my black. So let's get stuck into it. So we've blocked in all of our blacks onto our canvas and I'm just grabbing a Montmartre Super Soft Eraser and trying to rub as much of the graphite from the pencil off the canvas as I can, just to try and clean up the workspace. Now that I've done that, the next step is going to be blocking in some color. Now we're gonna do some darkening with some raw umber and mix it with some water. So let's see what happens next. I'm going to go in with some white around his eyes to bring out some of those lovely markings that tigers have. Hi, so we've laid in the white now this is again just a base coat. We'll be going in there later and doing some finer details. But now what I want to do is do some glazing on his eyes. Now we've got a lot of warm colours going on and what I want to do is bring through a cool colour to create some interest and some contrast. I've got some Carillion Blue and I'm also going to use some Cadmium Yellow as a glaze on the outside of his eye. This is going to look pretty cool so hang on to your hats people. It's about to get interesting. Glazing is a great way of putting down transparent layers of colour to build up visual interest in your image. I've used some of the Montmartre acrylic medium in gloss to lay out the effects which will make the eyes look fantastic. The next step is to get here and start layering in the depths of colour to bring out the fur. Did you know there are five species of tiger? Siberian, Indo-Chinese, South China, Bengal and Sumatran. Fully grown tigers can be nearly 13 feet in length and weigh up to 700 lbs. I guess that's almost 250 kilos. Doesn't this red glaze look amazing? Now I'm adding some small details to suggest fur on the tiger's face. So there you go, we've added lots of details into the uh, nose area and the brow of our tiger. I think it's looking pretty good but we're not finished yet, we're almost there. It's time to go back in with some lamp black, back into our blacks, and what we're going to do is flick them back out over the white to give you the impression that the uh, fur is flooding out of his face. And we're just going to do a little bit more work on highlighting some of these areas just to create a better, smoother transition. So I hope you're enjoying this. This tiger is almost done. Let's get into getting it finished. 
we're almost done. The most important thing now is to flick your brush back up across the top of the white sections so the black fur is exploding out from each section. And don't forget you can cut back in with your brush to make the fur look really bristly. This is going to look sensational. Well, there you go. Here's the tiger at its most completed state. You can see I've done the flocking of moving black up through the um, white areas to create that lovely fur effect. And um, I've also just gone in here and done a little bit more detailing, but that's the kind of thing you could spend hours doing and that I really enjoy. I hope this painting inspires you to uh, have a shot at your own tiger. I know I'd love to see it. would love for you to post it up on Facebook so we can have a look and give you some feedback. Uh, don't forget, this is probably a fairly complex lesson. Um, there was lots, lots of um, different colours used, different brushes used, and um, some paint mixing. But the most important thing is to experiment and have fun. So here at Montmartre, we'd like to say, see you next time and have fun creating. See you next time!